Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video. This is another episode of MK Mobile History guys and here we are back into the game with another very very old Starry Sky video which is really really old. Oh it says MKX Mobile 1.9. That's really really old. And you know from here and there from time to time I'll be hosting a video on MK Mobile History on certain events which I believe that are important. And this is one of the most important events in the game. We had the first three, the very first three diamonds in the game, the Holy Trinity of MK Mobile. The very first diamonds in the game were Hellspawn Scorpion, Classic Raiden and Ravenous Melina. Those three were the very first characters. And one thing that I have to really mention here, because back then the game was extremely easy to hack, literally everyone could hack the game. This team was everywhere. Reason being, not that it was easy to get it. If you want to spend real money for this team, then you should have spent, I don't know, 100, 200, 300k souls or whatever. And back then there was no revenant. Or at least I think that at this point we didn't have talent. So, million attacks or raid attacks and you're dead. <laughs> Basically this is how it played. And look at this, this video is so Oh, that Starving Sky doesn't even have face cam yet. Hello, Look friends. at this. I have a good feeling about today because I'm gonna be playing with this super freakish overpowered team. Let's do it. And look at this. The first match ever is against a hacked account. Level 31, Money Machine. It was, trust me, I was playing the game not back then, but probably one year after that when we had two or three more diamonds. And it was impossible to max a diamond on level 31, absolutely impossible. Even if you're spending money, there was no offers for great, I mean, there wasn't any great offers for money. You could only buy souls. And Melina, Raiden and Scorpion, they were extremely difficult to pull. You had to open hundreds of those packs you know, to get one or two Melinas. So if you're free to play, the best you can get is, let's say, Melina Fusion 2, Fusion 3, Fusion 4, if you're extremely lucky. Everything else was impossible because on top of everything, you can farm, let's say, 28 or 25 souls a day, excluding the challenges. And when everything started, we had only one difficulty in challenge. So it was just challenge for Raiden, Thunder, Thunder God Raiden. And that's it, one difficulty and we are done. After that, they introduced the second difficulty. And I'm gonna be playing but against this freakish overpowered team all the time because... Yeah, look at what Sarisky is saying. Actually, listen, sorry. I don't know what he's using, but you can still hear that he's tapping on the screen. So this video is so old. Look at the graphics. Can I actually improve it a little bit? Actually, I'm already in eight. No, that is the best graphics. Everything se yeah, right. seems the so that different. First doesn't matter at all. The game is something completely... Look at Raiden, he looks Raiden, so... You, you were beautiful. <laughs> he looks so I don't know, weird. Why did I do so less damage? Because this guy plays on a hacked account, that's why. This is a cheat, guys. Melina is definitely the best character. So we have it here from Starry Sky that Melina is the best character in the game, you see? Super, super overpowered. She can be defeated only by another melee. And there is no revenant, guys. There was melee attack, and you, for some reason, cannot escape. You are dead. Look at this. And there is no feats of strength. There is nothing after the game is over. So if you compare those times against these times, definitely you can see that the game has come a long, long way since the very first three diamonds. Uh, and actually, you are getting war points. What's that for? Was it faction wars points? And look at this, another, another one. You are only facing this team. It was incredibly, incredibly annoying. Nothing else but this team. Look at this. If we fast forward, probably he's going to win this fight. Probably. Is he winning? Only Melina is alive, but that's in a lot of cases a problem. But he wins. So, he wins and the next team is the same. So, these three characters arrived and changed the game. For good, actually. Because uh, after their arrival... The, the game developers decided that we need more diamonds, but they were not releasing diamond after diamond after diamond every single update. You're getting one diamond every third update, something. Uh, every single update before, we'll be getting gold characters. This is the reason why we have so many challenge gold characters. Regardless of the fact that 
we have uh, so many diamonds now this wasn't the case before diamonds were really really rare we were not having uh, new diamonds every single update um, I mean yeah uh, and now we have diamonds everywhere everything is diamonds but look at the game so much different and the damage probably this video is five years old or something <laughs> and Melina is pretty overpowered right so he, he finishes this battle he wins okay let's see which is the next battle oh my goodness surprise surprise <laughs> so what is the point of having this team the first very three diamonds when you're facing only the three diamonds that the hacked account on the right has right so the thing is guys if you think about the new characters that we have now that are so difficult to get we get something similar however the, the similar thing is that those three cards cannot be obtained easily the problem is now that they cannot be obtained almost at all the thing is I want to face the new characters in faction war survival mode but I can't because almost nobody has them I don't remember when was the last time when I faced fusion 10 uh, classic uh, rain or mk11 rain I don't remember when was the time the last time when I, fa uh, when I faced MK11 Sindelon, actually never, I never faced her, because almost nobody has her maxed out. Like, uh, I don't even remember when was the last time when I faced MK11 Shang Tsung maxed out. So, since nobody has those characters maxed out, you cannot face them, and the game is getting like, you only face the old characters. And I want some variety, I don't want to get in a situation when you are facing the same characters over and over and over again. Now granted, we have much, much, many, many more characters than three. <laughs> However, look at this. This was the state of the game immediately after the release uh, date of the diamonds. You can imagine if the game is easy to hack. I, I, I don't think it was even on the cloud back then. So everybody could hack it. And they create this hacked account with the max the talent tree and the max characters. And the game was flooded with this. Look at this. And I can bet the next game after Nakat uh, will be against the hacked account. Let me see. Okay, Nakat is defeated, we get 100 war points, and then, oh my god! <laughs> After all, guys, there are variety, I mean, uh, you can uh, face Scorpion, Melina, Raiden, but you can face Melina, Scorpion and Raiden, right? <laughs> In other case, it won't matter because many, many people will be using Hellspawn Scorpion as the opener after all Melina and Raiden benefit on tagging in and tagging out. While Scorpion doesn't, so it will make sense to put Scorpion as your starter. So basically, this means that there is no variety, even in the construction of the teams, because nobody was using uh, Melina and Raiden as openers. Let, let's rewind it. Uh, let's see the first team. Is it using. No, Scorpion is the starter. Of course, he is a starter. <laughs> let's see this team, the next one. If we find, Scorpion is the starter, next one. Scorpion is the starter, it's the same team! The only difference is that sometimes Melina is a, a spot number 2 and Raiden is a spot number 3, or vice versa, Raiden is a spot number 2 and Melina is a, stop, a spot number 3. And one of the things that I did remember when I was uh, watching these videos is that Star in Sky said that Faction was, was ruined, and I remember those words, I'm going to um, share them with you right now. Now, I'm telling you this because you never know what's going to happen with the game. But after the introduction of those characters, the game was, as you can see, even if you had the game, you have every diamond maxed out, there is literally no point of playing because you're facing the same team over and over again. And he even put a reptile uh, when he was testing Melina, so he, he hoped that he was going to get different teams. Let's see where this thing happened. The first team he faced, nope. The second team he faced, oh, actually this is the same team, okay. The next team he faced, oh my god, surprise, surprise. The third team he faced, whatever. And now, uh, I just want to share with you his uh, last moments of this video because it's really, really important. Uh, he, no, actually, we're just going to uh, share the last battle against this team. Just listen, guys. What the hell was that? How did he do 30 damage with one, uh, with special one? Special one, Cracker Reptile doesn't do anything. It never worked before. If you take out when Raiden takes in... Okay, kill me. I don't care. I lost all interest in this game after they added those characters. 
Let me know guys what you think because this is not serious. If you have those characters you're gonna be winning all the time. If you don't have you're gonna be losing every time. It's not fun. It's not fun. Let me know your opinion guys. I'll try... So that's the thing. We had a new tier character and it wasn't fun because of this particular reason you were facing only this team because many many players could have it by hacking the game. Currently many many people cannot hack the game so many many people don't have the new characters but you can never face those characters anywhere else but towers. So if you want to face those characters in Faction Wars you cannot because nobody has them. So here you can see the coin has two sides right? Before there were good sides of the game and bad sides of the game and vice versa. Now there are good side uh, and bad side of the game. Which one I prefer? I mean, I, I'd rather take the new uh, state of the game compared to this, because this is really not fun. I mean, why would you even spend money to get those characters when the moment you play them, you're going to be facing the same team over and over again. But after that, they gave us a talent set, which basically introduced Revenant and turned the tides. And yeah, you know what's going to happen after a few months from the point when they introduced this character. So the game was improving. Currently, a lot of people say that the game is not very good, but... Yeah, you have to have faith, guys. I'm optimistic for this current year. Let's see what's going to happen. See you next time, guys. Take care. Perfect.